she is one of the stars of the new movie Lions for Lambs with Robert Redford and Tom Cruise. It is a movie about a professor, a student, a senator, and a journalist, and the question, how do you strengthen the muscles of your convictions? Street and Cruise. You've already sold for it. I'm asking you to help me sell the solution. A dialogue, a duel, ripped from the headlines and the airwaves. Do you Democrats really want to win the war in Iraq? We'll take a look at it as we continue. It was my favorite thing <laughs> that I ever saw Bill O'Reilly do. And so I lifted it out of his show and put it in the movie. Do you want to win the war on terror? Yes or no? It's abroad. Okay, you see this. This is the quintessential yes or no question of our time. The question completely without uh, an answer. I mean, it's the wife beating question. Are you still beating your wife? There's no way to answer it. Street, a middle aged reporter, facing the question of her job or her convictions. What does it take to be brave? You can't leave me. Hanging out here by myself. You just can't do that. Wrong. Thing. I just can't do this. You turn in some loony, speculative, what if story is based on what? A woman's intuition? If we don't do this, Howard, who's going to do it? This is the job. These politicians, these journalists, everybody that says, oh, well, if we'd known then what we know now, it was all right there. We knew it. If we had bothered to connect the dots. But we didn't, did we? We just rolled over. What are you willing to give? Well, I think we'll do things if we think our, our children are in danger. And for 99% of our, us, our children are not. Street says just blogging to your friends is not enough. If you feel like your voice isn't heard, then you damn well get out and make it heard. But now we have so many outlets for venting and people blog and they go to sites and you feel like you've done something by sending out tapping out this thing and it just sort of goes out and corroborates with all the other people agree with you and then you're done welcoming Meryl Street back to GMA we had something from the scrapbook 1990 hi I'm Meryl Street and this is Mamie and Gracie Gummer and we're from Salisbury Connecticut we'd like to say good morning America oh god Good morning, America. <laughs> Can I have that? Oh, my God. I read that your mom would do something in which she'd come into you as kids and say, this is a special day. This is your day. This is your day. It's your day. And you Get can, up. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever want. you want. She would yeah. just declare it your personal holiday? Yeah, like holiday. a Tuesday that you had a bio test the next day, stuff like that. Yes, yeah. she would do that. So did you pass it on? Yeah, you know, I did it for a while, but then um, they were taking so many days. <laughs> <laughs> her mother is here in these home movies. Yeah, I miss her a lot. She had a lot of good ideas. One of her ideas was that everybody should have to vote. You have to vote. And if you don't, you're fined. And after three times that you're fined, then you don't get to be a citizen anymore. You can still stay here. You just have to go line up at the INS and get your green card renewed and stand in that line. And then the great 62% who don't vote, who are eligible to vote, would motivate themselves. I think, I think it's a really good idea. You can also see in the home movies a young Meryl who seems to be testing their acting chops, not to mention her singing. You did take singing lessons. Oh, I love to sing, but I'm, I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm humble, believe it or not. I know the limits, but I do love it. I really do love it. In that case, let's pull out from 1981, Alice at the Palace. Um. She means crazy, not angry. <laughs> <laughs> and the woman who put the devil in Prada surprised us by confessing something about the pressure of the red carpet. What's the uh, most frustrating thing about being you right now? Fashion, you know, for people. <laughs> like, and I have, I'm always in a dilemma. Do I take the free dress 
or do I buy the dress? I feel better in myself if I buy the dress. And then I think, my God, these clothes are expensive. <laughs> and they're sickening, and you can't wear them twice. No one will let you wear a dress twice. No, 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 or you'll be up there. Oh, and I'm going to start doing it. By the way, that's my pledge to you today. To wear your dress twice? To wear these dresses. Like to everything. I think you have made. I think you've made a very courageous decision. Today. Thank you. And lastly, what's what's the best thing about being you right now in the world? Oh well, there's a lot of things. And Kinahora, we don't talk about them. <laughs>